Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habat fillah. In a beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam it is a hadith which encourages us to take the path of goodness. And what I mean by the path of goodness is I mean to do the various types of khair, the various types of goodness, and this is the month to do so. And from that goodness, some of those blessings or some of the ways that we can chase and achieve blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created us is mentioned in this beautiful hadith related by Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. عن معاذ بن جبل رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي أن النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم قال أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال له ألا أدلكم ألا أدل ألا أدلك على أبواب الخير قلت بلى يا رسول الله قال سم جنة والصدقة تدفئ الخطية كما يدفي الماء النار رواه ترمذي في حديث وصححه ويأتي بتمامه في سمت إن شاء الله طيب in this hadith of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث of معاذ من جبر رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the messenger or he said that the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said to him should I not tell you about something which is, uh, should I not show you the doors of goodness? And he said in response to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, oh, uh, yes, O Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded, he said, Fasting is a shield. And sadaqah, meaning charity, it expiates your sins or your mistakes. Similar to the way that water puts out fire. And this hadith is collected in uh, Tirmidhi and it's a sound or authentic hadith. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have immense benefits and immense benefits that we can benefit from right now. The first uh, benefit that we gain from this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is it shows us the fadl or the superiority of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala an, who was a sahabi radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and who was in the company of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke to him and said, should I not show you the gates of, uh, of goodness? So this shows that Mu'adh uh, was from Ahla Fadl and that the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam wanted good for him. And whenever Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants good for a person or his Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wants good for him, that is Dalil or evidence that what? that that is a person of good. And so <coughs> the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to him, uh, should I not show you the gates of goodness? So this hadith also shows us that there are various ways to goodness. In Islam, it is not restricted to just, uh, just prayer or just supplication, but rather goodness Re, uh, requires from us good manners, good conduct, keeping the ties of kinship, uh, respecting our elders, loving our elders, being obedient to our, uh, to our parents, and that the wife is obedient to her husband and serves her husband, and that the, servant, that the husband serves his family by taking care of them and doing that was good and speaking kind words and taking care of their needs and providing a roof over their head and clothing them. So there's various ways of khair. There's various ways of good. So here the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, 
uh, mention two different ways. So it shows us the fadl or the superiority of these two deeds that are mentioned in this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the first deed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned was what? He said, Asum, or he said, Sum, Jannah. He said that fasting is a shield. What do we do with a shield? We use a shield, they use a shield in battle. That, especially uh, a shield in, in uh, throughout most of history, <clears throat> that you use the shield in, on the battlefield. And uh, a shield does what? It protects you. Similar to the way that we see riot police and so on and so forth using their shields to protect against protesters or others or people rioting. That they use that and it protects their whole body. It protects them from being pelted with uh, rocks or pebbles or shoes or branches or whatever else that they are attacked with or fire, uh, fire bombs. So the point being is a fa fasting is also a shield. Fasting is a shield. And what does it do? It shields you from your desires. It shields you from your desires because when you're fasting, it reduces your level of uh, sexual de desires, akramakumullah, and your, uh, your desires, also uh, your whims, meaning being whimsical and being desirous of doing bad deeds. That fasting is a way of protecting you from that. It should help you to lower your gaze <clears throat> from looking at those things which are uh, impermissible to look at. And it should help you to restrain and refrain from doing bad deeds. And it should help you from refrain from speaking wicked speech like lying, backbiting, and uh, cursing people. So we see that as the Messenger وسلم, said, Som a Jannah, that fasting is a shield. So it can prevent you from doing the Muharramat if you are fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in accordance with the Sunnah of His Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The next deed that he mentioned in this hadith, he said, وَصَدَقَ تُطْفِئُ الْخَطِيَ He said, and giving charity that it expiates your mistakes and your sins. So some of the mistakes and the sins that you do while you're fasting in the month of Ramadan and outside of the month of Ramadan, but especially Ramadan is this time we want to take, really take advantage of, is that giving charity. That when you do something sinful, when you find that you're cursing someone, when you find that you've looked or listened to the Muharramat, when you find that you've spoken in an ill way, when you find that you've done any kind of other sinful actions, you can expiate that. One of the ways of expiating it is through sadaqah, is through charity. So this encourages the believer to give more and give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the various ways of khair. There are so many different ways to get ajr. There are so many people Muslim and non-Muslim who have needs. Most of the world is poor. So there is so many different ways of khair. Some of us have poor relatives, so we should be first concentrating on them and then others. And then how many of our brothers and sisters are suffering around the world? In Sri Lanka, they just uh, burned down uh, several masajid and Muslim businesses as a backlash for what those devils from amongst mankind did, who tried to do it in the name of Islam, those ISIS-oriented, Tekfiri, Khawarij groups, who sow discord around the earth. So then our brothers suffer. Look at the, look at the, how these people are so ignorant, the people who do these evil actions. We're talking about way before Bin Laden, way before Awlaki, and way before other Tekfiri figureheads and Abu Hamza Misri and Abu Qatada Filistini and Faisal Jamaki and other Tekfiris who speak evil with their tongue and some of them with action and some of them are the leaders and figureheads of evil that these evil people these evil people that are in the bodies of man but only Allah knows if they are really devils 
because their behavior, their actions, their fatawa are the fatawa of the demons. And with that being said, Habatifillah, look at the mufasid that they spread and the wickedness around the earth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us that the hypocrites would do. That they spread yufsiduna fil ard. Those are the they, they claim to be the Muslim. Those people claim to be those who rectify, but they spread wickedness. So then as a as a as a repercussion of their wickedness, wickedness comes from other communities as a harm to the believers. And this is what we see in many of the back, backlashes around the world of many of our brothers and sisters, Masajid in California being burned, knife attacks and attacks in the UK, uh, all kind of harms. And they come a lot of times during the holy times. So I just wanted to point that out to see how wickedness brings, breeds wickedness. And it's just a cycle of evil. But how do we, how can we help our brothers? We can help by spending in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and spending to help our brothers rebuild their masajid, to help our brothers and sisters uh, clothe themselves and shelter themselves after such wickedness and wicked harm has come to them. So there are so many people in need and so many ways to get your sins forgiven. So this hadith in general, and that's why it's I'm reading from a book and it's called Fatal Qareeb al Majib ala Targheeb wa Tarheeb. Anyway, the, 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 the foundation or the, the, this book is from a book called, which is a collection of hadith called Targheeb wa Tarheeb. And they are hadith that encourage and discourage. You know, they encourage you to do good deeds and they discourage you from doing evil. The whole book is about that. But this is a brand new sharh. I got to put my bid in. That is a beautiful, brand new, fairly fresh off the press, out this year explanation with a tahkik, meaning it's been authenticated. And it is how many volumes? It's about 15 volumes. This is like super gold. But anyhow, aside from that, Ahabatifillah, I just wanted to say that this hadith encourages us to do good. So this is the month of good. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.